What happens when you get into debt? I'm telling you now, you're going to Please. get hurt. And you can't. I'm going to show them to pay this. Or won't pay it back. Doesn't matter what you want, sir. Unfortunately, that's the law. We meet the High Court enforcement agents who are pushed to their limits. Oh, no, no, no. Evil. Well, I'll smash the window then. It's false imprisonment. Dealing with desperate debtors. Hello? In dramatic situations. You want to stand here like a big man? Leave it. Talk to me. Talk to push me. me about. We meet the people who are losing their homes. I don't know where I'm going to stay for the night. That's a major eviction. <laughs> and their possessions. The desk should go in. <laughs> Everything. You're joking. Okay. If you can't pay... High court enforcement. They'll take it away. The effects of Britain's financial crisis are still being felt. The number of consumers being taken to court for unpaid debts rose again in 2014. The third year-on-year -year increase. It is the latest evidence that shows more and more people are struggling to pay their debts. Brian O'Shaughnessy and Delroy Anglin are High Court enforcement agents. They travel hundreds of miles each week, collecting payments and seizing goods to settle unpaid debts. I don't know Andover too well, I haven't really been down here. Today, they're in Andover, Hampshire. We've got a Brian... Brian, what a great name. Mm, I was thinking that. <laughs> the debt is for an unpaid compensation claim following a road traffic accident. The amount we're looking to collect, me old cocker, £4,766.05. After 100 yards, you have reached your destination. Should be right there on the left. As they reach the address, Brian and Dell spot someone cleaning a van outside. Oh, there he is. I'll talk to him. Hello, sir. Hello. Do you live here? Yeah, why? I'm looking for Brian. Why? Are you him? Who are you doing it? I'll tell you if you're him. Are you Brian? Sorry, I'm a High Court Enforcement uh, Agent, sir. A what? High Court Enforcement Agent. What for? Well, if I, if I know if you're Brian, I'll be able to reveal the details. Is it confirmed? Who are you looking for, mate? You're not him? No. Dell is suspicious. You said you lived here earlier. I didn't say anything, mate. I asked you if you... No, I'll ask you if you lived here. But then, a neighbour calls out from across the street. Ah, oh, obviously you are, Brian. You've been called. I need to speak to you about this High Court writ, mate. High Court writ. The man is not cooperating, but the writ allows the team to enter the house without force to seize goods if he can't or won't pay. Dale, come in here. My colleague's got into your house. What the fuck are you doing in there? Get Calm out. Down. No. Calm down, mate. Get out. No. Get out. No. Get out. No. Get out. Your hands off me. Don't. Oh, hands stop off me. There's someone in the house. We're high court enforcement. Get out. Hold on, no. let me argue. Get out. No. We're high court no. enforcement. Get out. Okay. No. I've been welcomed in. That means, that means welcome. Get out. Will you calm no. down, sir? No problem. No, no, we're standing no, sir. Here, sir. We will talk to you here. Please get your hands off me. Please get your hands off me. I will talk here with you, sir. OK? Can you stand there and say my No. No, sir. Uh, listen, sir. Can you stand there and say my hand? Get out. OK, well, let's talk no, about it. Let's talk about it. Get out. Let me show you the paperwork I got. Get out. Well, 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 no, get out. No, please take your hand right, off sorry, me. Please. That's all I'm asking. If you don't take your hand off me, I'll call the police. What is this about? Okay. I'm a high court enforcement agent, yeah? Yeah. We've got a high court writ for Brian. For what? He owes Miss Kelly neighbour. What's about my fucking insurance? Yes. We're going to have to get out. If it's no, 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 we don't have to get out. So well, you're going to have to deal with my insurance, mate. I don't know why you're going to The debtor thinks that the money is owed by his insurance company, but the writ states that he's personally responsible. Just listen to me, right? We've got a high court writ, OK? Now, I want to make this very, very simple. You don't have to speak to me if you don't want to, but we're here to collect this money. Right, I'm going to start you off, right? Any problems, you deal with my insurance no, company. No, we can't. I pay insurance. Well, no, we can't, because the High Court have issued a writ against you. Why? Ask him. I don't know why. Because my insurance company can't sort shit out. Well, we don't, we don't have any information. Yes, right. Hold on a second here. This is about an accident. Okay. This, I'll tell you, this is about an accident here. Is this all right, Brian? Yeah. 
This is about an accident that Brian had right. on his motorcycle, right? His insurance company was dealing with this here, right? right. It is up to them to deal with that, not for you to come Well, hold here. on. Let me finish that. Let me just right. go you there. They are, they are dealing with it. We've got a high court writ. You might want to get onto insurance now and speak to them about it while we start I'm getting there. onto anybody, mate. You're not going to get onto anybody. Fine, then you need to pay it. I'm paying fuck all. You can get in the house. No. You can take me with you. Come on. No, we don't. We don't. We don't. We don't. As the son is refusing to pay, the team have no option but to seize his goods. Okay. Now we need to determine what goods are his in here and what are yours. Fuck all. This is my house. Okay. You have no right to lift anything from this okay. property at all. Okay. No, you don't. Okay. I am not okay. involved but in this but your, here. Is that right? your son? Is he your son? Yes, he is. Okay. My son. Right. right. Now we've tried to speak to him outside. Let's let's get this straight. We didn't want to come in here. We wanted to speak you're to him. Hold on. Hang on. You're not listening. I've done you the courtesy. Yes, I I've done the courtesy of listening to you, right? I'm to make okay. Now, listen to me just for a second, right? Right. It's your son's attitude. We're in here because he didn't want to speak to us out there. He still doesn't want to speak to us. And we have to, of course. You followed her then to my No, we didn't follow We were allowed to be in here. And we didn't well, have to. This is we didn't my follow house, mate. Okay. But he lives here. Do. He no, does live no, here. He okay. doesn't live well, here. So you don't well, mind if we walk around and check, uh, check the rooms and see if his stuff's in here? What stuff? His, his, his clothes and his trainers and all this stuff. What you do you mean his You haven't got a... You haven't got a pro well, let's go upstairs, me and you. Let's go. No, no, mate. Well, hang on, you haven't... No, no, so you can no, see... No, well, I will no, be... No, no, okay. don't put a smile on your face. And Why not? I've got one over me. Um, it's not about one over you. And we respect that. People get upset with our presence. People throw their dummy out. They shout, they rant, they rave. And I don't mind that, as long as it's not physical. OK, in five minutes, I'll be entering your house, and if you obstruct me, I'll call the police and you'll be arrested. Call the police. Cool. No, 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 in five minutes, no, no, you, you can try and call him. This is my house. OK. This is, this is wrong. This is totally wrong. You need to speak to your son. Speak to your son, then. No. So we're going. Come on. No, but you're not coming. No, you're not coming. OK, fine. Will be. It's fine, it's fine. You're going to force your way into my house. We're already in your home. You're already in your no, house. No, you're not. Give me your phone, please. Get out. That's fine. We'll call the police. Call the police now, please. How can you be in my house? I haven't done anything. That's why we're allowed in my house. We've got high court writ, sir. You're not listening, are you? You know what's going to happen? This will spiral out of control. Absolutely not. When he doesn't need to spiral Listen out of control. Listen to me. This is my house. Uh, I know. You, you keep repeating yourself. Listen Hello? My house. Hello, my name's Brian O'Shaughnessy. I'm a High Court Enforcement Agent. As Brian calls the police, the son returns. Can you do something? Yes, please. Yeah, I've got um, the better here if it's far here. I'm obstructive. Right. Thank you very much. I'm going to tell you now, if Thank you don't you. get out, you're going to get seriously hurt. Cool. And that's not Please. That's a promise. Get okay. out. Please. We'll talk outside. Whatever you've got no. to say, outside Please. of this door. You didn't want I to speak. I will promise you, you now. You didn't, that. you didn't want to Please. speak outside. You're going to say, are you threatening me? Outside, you're in you're my house. No, that's fine. So, it's a promise. The police, look, look, the, 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 police, the police right? are on outside. their way. Outside. Outside. We're talking about outside. No, sir. Outside. Hang on a moment. Tensions are rising and no one's backing down. Get out. Please, please. please. We're going to speak here. No, you're going to get hurt. <laughs> get out of the please. house. I'm telling please. you now, you're going to please. get hurt. OK. Get please, out of the please. house. Please get out. No. He doesn't please. need to get, get out. out. Does he does Well, it does. No, please, get out of the house. Please. Well, I can say anything you need to outside. Let's go. Uh, so don't touch me, sir. Please. Please. please, don't touch me, sir. Don't touch me, sir. No, please. Don't touch me, sir. Please. 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 Get out of my Stop it. Stop it. Get out of my house. Oh, my God. 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 Father and son are still physically resisting the team. Get off me! Stop it! Get off me! Get off me! Stop it! Get out! Get off me! Leave it! Stand back! 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 We're not moving anywhere. Stop it! Stop my house up now! Get out of my house! Stand back! Stand back! Get out of my house! Stand back! Stand back! Stand back! Listen, Listen, stop it. Stop it. Stand back. Stand back, please. Stop Stop it. Stop pushing me. What? Stop it. Stop pushing me. We're not leaving. Stop it. Stop pushing me. Stand back. Stop 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 stand back. My house, please. We're not, sir. Please get out of my house. We're not moving. Don't threaten me. Get out. Stand back, please. Get out. Please get out of my house. We're not moving. Please get out of my house. No. 
Can you call? You assault with me, that's a criminal offence. Oh, I'm not here to, to be hurt. I don't want to hurt anybody. I'm not here to fight people. Um, but sometimes people don't want to listen and it goes down that route. He's trying to protect no. me. No, he's not. He was making threats. He is trying to protect he me. He pushed me. Please. Please get out of my house. No, sir. We're not Please. moving. Get your hand. Step back. Please. Step back. Get out. No, Sit not that. Can you not Please. see it? You are the one no, who's brought this, no, no, no. right? You are threatening me, no. right? You said you were going to have. Please. Well, get your hands off me. Get your, your hands off me. With Brian and Dell staying put, the son also calls the police. They say they're bailiffs, but he's going to be going through. Oh. Error. Get your hands off me. Get your hands off me. They're inside my hallway now. They've been throwing us around. <laughs> Stupid. No, try to get further in the house as well. Tell them we're high court enforcement agents. Marvellous, thank you. Bye, bye. Fantastic. Please don't know, yeah? Silly, bro. A police officer arrives almost immediately. Yeah. Can we just stand down here? Hold on, don't drag me. I'm not, I'm not. I'm just going to close the door. Yeah, you are. Right, we're high court enforcement agents. Yeah, OK. I've arrived outside here. I've seen this gentleman cleaning his van. Yep. He didn't want to reveal who he was. Whilst yep. I'm trying to speak to him, a gentleman from across the road is going, Brian, are you all right? So I know yep. I know it's him. A colleague has come in. Stood here. All right? And we've stood right here. Yep. He's come now and he's flipped, wanting us to leave. We're not leaving. OK. The drama's over at the moment, but I do need other units over. This gentleman then yep. promised that I, will be, that I would get hurt if I didn't leave because he wouldn't be responsible. He wasn't talking about it. It's all on camera. They tried to push us out. I've been assaulted. We've pushed them away. Yep. So I've right. pushed them back using reasonable force yep. to protect ourselves. Yep. Uh, two or three times I've done that because they kept coming at us. And we've opened palms. Please stay back. That's what we've asked them okay. to do. They've yep. continued to come at us. Okay. okay. We're here with a high court writ, which needs to be satisfied. Yeah. So. And this is the data here. What do you require me to help you do? Well, we're now going to go around the house and look at assets. Because yep. I'd rather get payment here and leave. Yep. I don't think there's going to come to that. Then I need to determine what assets Brian has here. What? This hey, is Dad's man, house. What amount of payment <coughs> do you talk about? Hang on a moment. Oh, We've got an half thousand now. This, is, this is the writ. You need to speak. I've, I've gone through son. this with you already, right? And your son has been the one who said he's about some insurance. Now, that's about Just all I know. I'm going to stop you right here, right now. They are not going to come in any further. Anything we can do will be sorted they, out outside. They have a high court will be in it. This is my house. We've taken that into account. Okay. We understand that. OK, so let me reassure you, any goods that belong to you, they will be left alone. On the board, Under that judgment there. So that bit of paper? Yes, it is, yeah. Do you have a copy of that? This I'll is, get you a copy. Me. No, yeah. I no, this is my copy. copy this is no, this is my copy. Okay. What, what we, 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 we will get read it. Do you want me to read it to you? No, I'll read it out, mate. Okay. The son is still convinced his insurance company is liable for the payment. Oh, no, you speak to him. Your insurance company is liable. You are. We well, asked you to speak to, to them, and you said no. Well, you said no, you didn't you? Me to contact well, you half said half you weren't going to do it. Office hours, half past five. You're being very difficult. I'm not being difficult. You are. It's not. It's not. It's a situation that I've been put into. Do you know what? Let me. Let me. Let me. This is a situation I've been put into by someone else's incompetence to do their job. Brian, are the insurance company liable to pay it? Yes. All right. Can I just advise you something? If the insurance company are liable and they agree to that, they will pay this. It's happened before. So what I'm trying to plead and ask you to do is give them a call and ask them about it. Sorry, so today, our office is ours. OK, do you know what? Let's go. Let's eight, carry on. Half half so we're going we're to carry on. Um, OK? Yes, we can. We can. We are going to do A second police officer arrives. You might have been able to do something. Hello. Hi there. Come in. What we need you to do at the moment is just allow these gents to look around your house, OK? Right. How oh, long? Well, I can't have no, them no, in my it house, please. Yeah. It's actually a criminal they're, offence they're, obstructing us. They're, 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 they're a bit of, a bit of paper. Let me finish, no. please. This okay. is going to happen, OK? They've got the paperwork from the courts. It's, it's, there's nothing you, we can do about that at the moment. The police are very important when a situation deteriorates because people recognise their authority. And sometimes they're the communication vehicle that we have to go through in order to break that emotional cycle that people find themselves in to recognise the fact that we do have the right to be in your property. The police arrange to give Brian and Dell access to the house to see if the son has any belongings that could satisfy the writ. 
I'll stay with you, he'll stay with you, we'll keep it nice and calm, and just to satisfy your mind what is in here and what isn't in here. Okay. All right? Come ahead, no, I am welcome you into my house. Okay, sir. So where shall we start? Does everything in here is mine. Everything is yours. Everything. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. After a quick inspection, Dell emerges. Everything in there is bad. Cool. I got sweet, I think. Yeah. With no assets to seize, Brian and Dell's only option is to allow time for the son's insurance company to settle the debt. What we're going to do, we'll allow you to speak to the insurers tomorrow morning, first thing, yeah? What you must stress to them is that it's now with the High Court and that this needs to be settled. If they are liable or if they've made a mistake, they will have to pay it, yeah? The tension has gone, but the explosive incident is still raw. Brian, I, I just want to say something, yeah? I'm really upset about what happened earlier. Yeah, I don't, I'm not in this job, I've done this job for 11 years to be put in a situation like that. I get no enjoyment out of it, yeah? I've got four children, I'd like to go home in one piece, yeah? I understand why you did it, OK? And just talk to us next time if you ever get anybody like us. We're not unreasonable. It's a lesson learned, yeah? All right? I want you to shake my hand before I leave today. Yeah. If you yeah. are liable for it, call me up and we'll sort it out, mm -hmm. yeah. OK? Yeah. Happy days. Good. Good. See you later. We'll go after Dad. Brian and Dell will have to wait until tomorrow to see if the insurance company will pay up. If not, they'll be back. Recent figures show that private rents are rising faster than mortgage costs. Across Britain, more than 800 properties are repossessed every week. Wingham, Kent. High Court enforcement agents Paul Bowhill and Phil Short are on their way to repossess a cottage where the tenant owes over £3,000 in rent. This is just so tight round here, isn't it? It's very picturesque, though. It is, yeah. Almost feels like you've got to have a tractor to live around here, doesn't it? Yeah. But the team aren't here to collect the unpaid rent. They're here to evict tenant Andrew Bowman today. And he's now out of ICU and he's hopefully going to be home by Friday. Ha! Huh. Okay, locksmith, if you'd like to work your magic, yeah, there's yeah, obviously okay. nobody in. The note on the door implies the property is empty, but a twitch of the blinds upstairs suggests otherwise. He's in. He's in. Yeah. Okay. He's seen you. Hello, uh, Mr. Bowman. No, he's not here. Right, I'm a High Court Enforcement Agent. We yeah. have a repossession order for this property today. Do you? <clears throat> we do, yeah. Oh, well, I'll be able to clear it out for then. Yes. There's no immediate rush, in as much that if he's got... Is, is he actually in hospital he or something? Hospital, yeah. You didn't realise that, obviously. I can sort it out. Is there anything you need now? Uh, I'll grab a few bits, if that's all right, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. We normally allow I'll an hour for that. Staying but, uh, in the OK, you're a friend of his, I'll take it. Yeah. Yeah, if it changes the lock, I'll come back with a pot later and clear yeah. it out. That's fine. All right, so thank you. What's your name? Uh, Paul Stevens. Oh, so you go. Paul Bowhill. <laughs> nice to meet you. Oh, well, and you. The, who's this? Oh, I'm dog sitting as well. <laughs> really? No, I've got sort of that fucking What's the matter? What's the, what's wrong with him? He's uh, had quite a bit of bowel cancer. Really? Yeah. So it's all this, this is all bad timing, then? This is all awful timing for him, yeah. Is it his rent arrears, by the look of it? He's yeah. not paid the rent for a while. Is he um, I don't know. Problems like that? He said he was struggling with it, but... What uh, was he owe? It's too late for what he owe, isn't it? He didn't say anything. Well, it's 3,200. If he pays that, is it done? I doubt it. Well, Where is he now, this minute? I mean, does he need to be told? I shall phone him very shortly, mate. Yeah, he can't right. talk to me. He's got a tube down his throat. Has he? Yeah. Oh, jeez. Where is he now? Is he still in hospital? Or? Yeah. Oh, couldn't be well, worse, really, could uh, it? I wonder if the landlord's no. aware of all this. I don't know. Hey, 
With the news that the tenant is seriously ill in hospital, Paul phones the landlord to see if she wants to postpone the eviction. The guy is not here. His friend is staying here at the moment because he's actually in, I guess, the Kenton Canterbury. He's just had an operation for bowel cancer. Are we aware of any of this? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'll say he isn't here, so I can't sort of analyse that situation. Yeah, OK. All right, no problem. So we'll carry on as, as before. The landlord isn't convinced that the tenant is genuinely ill. Uh, I've spoken to the landlord. She, I think there's some difficulty in believing what is the truth and what isn't. Uh, well, I don't know. No, I understand. I'm not drawing you into it. I'm just giving oh, you yeah, the story. Really My mobile number is on there. My name is Paul Bowhill. Um, I say, if you take, you've got what you need, we'll go around and make sure everything's locked up, take photographs here. Yeah. Uh, right. It's a criminal offence if anybody breaks back in here. This is just the routine. But no, I'm just giving you the routine. I don't think it's going to work like um, Have you got a key for the back door? No, there's no key in the back door. There is no, no key, OK. Person. What's your, Paul, you said, isn't it? Well, I've got, have I got a contact number for you? You haven't? No. Cool. All right, I'll just leave it open. Oh, if you yeah. need to ring me or get him to ring me, please do so. Ring the landlord. Thank you for yeah, your cooperation. Oh, yeah. All yeah. right, sir. You take care. All right, mate. Bye-bye. Just ten minutes after Paul's arrival, the tenant's friend leaves the cottage. That could have gone ugly wrong. Yeah. He's big enough and ugly enough. Could have gone extremely wrong. <laughs> But as Paul does a routine check on the state of the property, he's in for a surprise. Oh, dear. That cannabis farm. Full scale. What a uh, sophisticated little setup. It's a professional setup, isn't it? Yes. Oh well. I'll call the place now. So no wonder the bloke wanted to get his ass out of here. My name is Paul Bowhill. I'm a High Court Enforcement Agent. We're effecting a repossession at a property in Wingham. We've found this full-scale production facility upstairs. Oh, right, you found a drug factory. Yeah, but oh, it's, it's, it's going really well. You know, it's not just a... <laughs> it's not a personal consumption one. This is... It yeah. could supply the whole of Wingham. Uh, but at the minute, we'll only get someone out of in the hour. All Your right. star. Thanks very much. Cheers. No Bye. <laughs> in the light of his discovery, Paul wants to find out more about the absent tenant, Andrew Bowman. So what I was just looking for, to see if there's a photograph which might actually show us the tenant. We're now beginning to doubt whether there is an illness, because there would normally be a load of appointment letters for the hospital. But then, Paul makes an astonishing discovery. Tenant. The man claiming to be house sitting is actually Andrew Bowman. Yeah. The police arrive in force. And Paul hands over to the officer in charge. The man who we saw here, who said he wasn't the tenant, yeah. we've now found is the tenant, but he's now got a beard and he's slightly so bald. That's the same bloke. That's the same bloke, yeah. So there's his passport. That's what he looks like. We haven't disturbed anything. You're in charge. Paul's detective work today has put an end to a sophisticated illegal enterprise. The bloke's obviously a local man. Um, he's not going to be able to get away with it. We've got him on camera, for heaven's sake, so we could just put that up on the front page of the Kenzie's Express. Do you know this man? <laughs> and he'll get 50 phone calls in no time flat. Recent figures show that debt is forcing the sale of a growing number of farms. As prices paid for produce have gone down, small farms are increasingly vulnerable to financial hardship.
Battle, East Sussex. What's it called? A farm, is it? It's called farm. farm. Brian and Dell are on their way to see a farmer, Dennis Russell, to collect a debt of nearly £5,000. He's just ignoring us. But I'd like to really get in here today now. Hopefully he'll be open and we can go straight in. Brian has tried unsuccessfully to collect the debt before, but today he's determined to get a result. Is this it? Yeah. A dispute between Dennis Russell and his former business partner has been going on for five years. The case went to court. Mr. Russell lost, but failed to pay what he owed to his former partner. Hello, mate. How are you? Mr. Russell. No. No. Is this, is this Glebe Farm? Don't swear at me. I'm not swearing at you. We're just making inquiries. No. Is this Glebe Farm? I'm not leaving, no. Right, too much order. OK, I'm here to talk. I'm here to be aggressive. If somebody comes out and they're immediately aggressive towards me, um, I ask myself, why? Why are you aggressive? Why are you behaving the way you are? Um, it doesn't necessarily mean it's the person I'm looking for, but nine times out of ten it is. We don't for Dennis, Dennis Russell. Is that you, sir? No. Does he live here? Yeah, but he's not available. I don't know where he is. He's not available. Okay, cool. Okay. No when will he be available? I'm sorry, I cannot say. He's um, I don't know where he is. You have a contact number for him? No. Okay. What's your position here on the phone? What? Well, you... I just um, when he's away like he is today, okay. I come round and um, I look after the place. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. So you work here? No, I don't work here. No. You just help him out. Just help him out. Okay. Does he rent this out? Do you rent this from him? No, what well, it is, not the this, it's mine. Where I look after the place, he just let me do me um... Oh, that's cool, man. Look, look, the reason yeah, I'm... Like, I told you. No, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. No, no, the reason I'm asking is because I don't want to touch anything of yours. That's right. That's why I'm asking, all right? Brian's looking for any goods he can seize if he can't get payment. That, that, in there, the van's mine. Happy days. I'll leave it alone. It's a dark environment, collecting money, dealing with individuals. They will be evasive. Um, because they don't want to pay. The man claims he owns some of the things on the farm, but the agents need proof. Brian hopes that this will also flush out his identity. I'm going to seize everything on his land. Yep. I'm now going to take control of it. So, so what is it then you want from me? Paperwork. Anything you have here, if you have any agreements for your stuff, you've got paperwork for your boat and your vehicles. Or logbook for the log car. Logbooks. Insurance. The only thing you know, I can supply evidence for yeah. is the engine on the back of the boat. So I bought that brand new, but I haven't still got the documentation. But if you do a VIN check on it, you'll find out that it'll come back to me. OK. Well, what's your name, then? What name will it come back to? But, um, well, there's, there's two talking from it. What name will, will it come back to? And um, what else? What's our other stuff for? What's your name, sorry? The man yeah. still refuses to give his name. You're just deflecting. You're deflecting from a lot of questions. You're de you're, 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 you are him, aren't you? No, I'm not. What's your name, then? Because we've asked you, isn't it? Right. If it's going to come back to you, what name is it going to come back to? Well, that, come back to me. Yeah, what name is that, then? I am not Dennis. Are Russell. you related to him? No, honestly, not at all. All I am is a friend. That's all I am, is a friend. The thing is, the, the problem I have here is well, you're on his land, yep. you're on his property, yep. but yet you can't get hold of him. You're not identifying who you are to us. I'm going to seize everything now and start removing goods. Under pressure from Brian, the man finally decides to reveal who he is. I'll hold it, if you don't mind. That's his surname, is that? Yeah. He's not the debtor, after all. But even if Mr Russell doesn't show up, after two hours, the team have the authority to start removing goods in his absence. Daryl, jump in, mate. What for? Get the model for me. I don't think I'm going to squeeze in there. There we go. What's that say? Ford, 4,000. There we go. Let's have a look at that. One just went for 3,850 quid, but that's in good nick, down there cleaning up. That's a death, Leyland death. Dot 150. Dot 150? Yeah. 2,000. Really? Yeah, yeah, that can just be kicked in, mate. It's been over an hour since the team arrived, and there's still no sign of Mr. Russell. But another person connected to the farm turns up. Hi. Ooh. I keep my horses here. Can I help you? OK, no problem. I'm here regarding the resident of this property. What, what is actually...? I can't divulge can't. that information to you. OK, love. 
but I'm happy to work with you and make sure you your stuff I'm is safe. Let's have a look. Let's, let's find out. Okay. Yeah, All no right. problem. I've got a saddle in and bridle in there. Cool. I've got. What actually in the house? Have you got? A, what's what's, oh. what's his name? Uh, Russell. Have you got Russell's telephone number? Yeah. The woman tries to reach Mr. Russell on the phone. I take it you've brought the debt over, have you? We, we don't. We don't. We're here. We're here on behalf of the High Court. That's all we can tell you. It's a well. It's above County Court. It's up to the top. Is it? Okay, yeah. No problem. Yeah. But there's no answer. No, the no. woman offers to try and track him down. I'll get in my car. I think I know where I'm going. Thank, Thank you so much for your help. Appreciate it. Yeah. Cool. While they wait for Mr. Russell, Brian and Dell keep looking for more assets. How much do you think that's worth, Tina? A monkey? Please. I'd have three of them if they were worth 500 quid. What are these? <laughs> Mate, two, three grand easily. The woman has been successful. Mr. Russell finally arrives. Hello. Hi, Dennis. How are you? How are you, chap? Are Thanks you? for coming back. Thank you. We're here on behalf of DCBL. Mr. Martin Paul Mitchell, the claimant. County Court judgment was issued on the 26th of February 2010. Well, um, business partner, well, I'll tell you what, I don't own a penny because I, I was the one that put all the money up for that business. Okay. The company before us attending has written to you 30 times. I'm Hang on a moment. Just hear what I'm saying. I'm not saying you've got no reason to stand there and lie to me, OK? They, con they contacted you in March 2013. They spoke to you, hung up the phone on them. This information... Oh, what? Reiterate, you hung up the phone on previous debt company. Just listen, yeah, all right? Exactly. I'm not saying you've done anything. This is the information given to me, and I'm relaying it to you, yeah? I've visited here previous, and I left a letter in your post box down on the floor. Do you pick up your mail down there? Yeah, but I haven't had any post. Well, well, it's fine. I'm just letting you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been here. Yeah, this is my second time here. Yeah. yeah. yeah? Um, so, what we need to do today, you may say you don't owe the money, but as far as I'm concerned, and with the High Court written in front of me, stamped oh, at the High Court, oh, oh. you owe it. But I'm going to tell you one thing there. He was my ex business partner. Now, he's got the audacity to do that to me. I can't pay it. I'm going to see his assets on, on, on this oh, property here today. Has, to, has, to be, has to be today. Yeah. Can you can you pay with card or do you want to check? You can pay with card, yeah. Fab. OK. What I suggest you do is you get your card, you pay... I haven't got a card. It's a savings account. You can get um, a banker's draft. Yeah. That's, that's, that's like cash, so... It won't give you anything if you go down like that, lot. <laughs> Mr Russell heads off to the bank, leaving Brian and Dell, hoping he'll be able to pay in full. He's a lovely, lovely guy. He's got a heart of gold. <laughs> He would do anything for you, but this with, you know, this master. You know, you know. I know sorry. all about it, and I, you know, so. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, we don't know the history. No. You see, we have no inkling of it. But he, he is, you know, and he just—if he doesn't understand something, that's why, yeah, you know, my husband and I, we go down the bank with him. An hour later, Mr. Russell returns from the bank. Thank you. I haven't even looked at it. Yeah, I can't check. Yeah, yeah, that's how they do it. Yeah, yeah that's it. There's a copy of the writ, OK? Here is a receipt for your payment. OK. We're going to leave you in peace now, Dennis, all right? Thank you for treating us the right way. We appreciate it. All right, we know it's difficult for you. All right? After nearly three hours down on the farm, Brian and Dell finally have the payment. Basically, he's, he's buried his head. Um, and, and, uh, and chickens come home to roost, don't they? But he's a, he's a nice enough gent, and it's, and it's unfortunate. The way it's done. You know, debt doesn't discriminate whether you're rich, poor, you know, country boy or city boy. Doesn't matter. You know, he, he's a nice, he's a really nice guy. He's genuine, but he's still got to pay. He's gone through the process. He's still got to pay. But it's come to a head now. The five-year battle is finished. That's it. It's done. Brian and Dell played a waiting game to get the result they needed. Recent figures show that the number of people in emergency accommodation is on the rise. For the last three years, the number of households affected has grown, with a 10% increase in this year alone. Over 75% of these households include children or pregnant women. Paul and Phil are in Edmonton, North London to enforce another eviction. So this is a straightforward repossession. Uh, two people on the rip. The local council housed a family from Kosovo in emergency accommodation. Most of the rent was paid for by housing benefit, 
but the rest had to be topped up by the family. But when they stopped paying, the council ended the lease. Turn left onto double clocks. For the last two and a half months, the family have refused to leave. So now the landlord has got a High Court writ to evict the tenants today. An additional agent, Jason Newman, joins the team. Hello. Hello. Hello, sir. My name is Paul Bowhill. I'm a High Court enforcement agent. Okay. We have a repossession order for the property. You I haven't been told. Sorry? I haven't been told that. It's been going on for months. You've been to court. No, but nobody has wrote me a letter. OK. Well, I'll do better than that. I'll give you a letter. There you go. We'll give you an hour to get your belongings together, immediate stuff, passports, phone charges, medication for your children. Do you have any, any, because it doesn't look like you, you have any, any right to, to move me like that, stay away. Does that help? What is a high is? court enforcement agent? If you don't want to move, we'll call the police. If you don't move. Do we need all that first? Well, this doesn't matter. No, OK. We just need to get the locksmith in to change the locks, please. How is this procedure going? You just, you haven't let me know. There is no warning for me to come. I'm from the High Court. There is no warning. I'll just turn up. Mm -mm. Mr. Alia has lived in the flat for nine months with his partner, Arta, and their two young children. He's getting increasingly upset. Not to worry. If this place doesn't hold us, no problem. We go back to our country. What you show showing to us, to show in us, racism. That's all. You don't show nothing else, just racism. We're not racist. We have a writ that asks us to, or commands us to carry out an instruction, and we carry that out regardless of a person's race, creed, or colour. I'm from Kosovo. Yeah. And you're showing just red season. In this country, only red season. We bring no peace nowhere in this world. I find it hard to comment when he's over here, obviously living off housing support. When, he, yeah, when the system goes against him, as opposed to him playing it, he pulls a racist card. So there's not much I can say without getting angry at him, really. No problem. We leave our, uh, this home, and if you are happy, we leave your country as well. No problem. No problem. Long as we have our peace in our heart, no matter. But you guys are just doing nothing nowhere. Let, let him have his two-minute rant, and he'll be down, and he'll be housed again within a week. Well, it's a system. How is possible to move, move into one family with two little kids, with two just little babies? I get very annoyed that people are abusing the system, and they're clearly abusing the system, and there's no excuse Then the landlord is actually entrenched and he's fighting a battle that can take up to a year to get rid of them, during which time they pay no rent. Excuse me, I want you out of the way, because you're holding me, yeah? Otherwise, you told me two hours, don't tell me one hour. Because they, they're holding us on the way. I'm speaking to you. At one o'clock, we will lock the door. You don't hold me. Put just carry on, just carry on. Yeah. If you talk I less and just move more. I don't think you, you're in a high, high position. You're not I in a don't high mind. position. You're in a low position. That's OK. I don't care what you think, sir. I haven't got a problem. Just be out of here by one o'clock. People can throw at us whatever they think is going to have an effect. And eventually, they, they calm down or go away because they can see that it's having no effect. If we were to react, react to any of it, it would exacerbate the situation. So, to do Kufarian. Kufarian. No, I don't Has it come along, Nelly? He says, one o'clock. 
Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm only asking how it's going. Yeah? You see me back in the The deadline's come and gone, but Paul's anxious not to inflame an already tense situation. It's got to be a little bit careful, because this one could kick off. Can you sort of wrap it up now? I'd like you to go in five minutes. The housing system that we have it, if you look at the global picture, uh, to use the legal term, it's completely and utterly fucked. There are so many people out there who either can't or won't take responsibility for their own lives. Well, the council will have to find me a house. It's always somebody else's fault. Mm. Right. All done? Yes. The family is now homeless. They go to the council, they'll have to accommodate them because they've got children, and they'll put them back in emergency accommodation. So the whole cycle is just repeated. So people like this could end up perpetually in emergency accommodation and not, uh, not paying any rent. Next time, Stuart and Vic face an explosive standoff. We need to quickly go because we need to um, uh, control the vehicle. Paul meets a tenant who won't budge. Will you open the door, please, or otherwise you'll break it down? And in a shocking case, he takes extreme measures to help. You've been given a period of grace. I don't want you and me to fall out. No, no. But if we have to, we will.